So, you want to make a realistic Marvel texture. Step one, contact Robert Downey Jr. Wait, oh, 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 you want to make a marble texture. Oh, that makes more sense. Hey guys, welcome back to That's Black Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again, taking a look at how to make this realistic marble texture in Blender 2.9 EV once again. And this is the bad boy right here. If I zoom in on in here, you can see we got a pretty nice looking uh, marble texture, which I really, really enjoy. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new project real quick. And we're going to go ahead and just uh, create this same material that I just made. So we're going to go ahead and hit this little drop down and add a new material there. Um, I just split my window into two by uh, by clicking this little button up here and changing to the shader editor from the uh, 3D viewport, by the way. Uh, so we're going to be creating this bad boy real quick. I'm going to spread this uh, principal BSDF shader open a little bit, give a little bit of room here. And we're going to hit shift A and we're going to search for a color ramp. Uh, node and we're gonna be using three of these bad boys today so we might as well just go ahead and duplicate them while we got them so shift D to duplicate and then just move them down shift D once again to move it down and we're gonna go ahead and plug these bad boys up so the bottom one the color is going to go into the roughness the middle one the color is gonna go into the metallic and the top one the color is going to go into the base color there we go looking good I'm gonna move these all up by clicking and dragging a box and then just moving them up like that so they're kind of like even because it's going to bug me. Um, <laughs> that's literally it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit shift A and search for a noise texture. So noise texture. Boom. Put that right there. And we're going to duplicate this one more time. So we're going to hit uh, shift D. Put that right here. Right. And we're also going to duplicate it one more time and hit shift D. And we're going to move that about right there. Now, finally, we're going to sh hit shift A. And we're going to search for a Voronoi texture. So Voronoi. And put that right there. And finally, we'll shift D, duplicate that, and put it right here. Now, we can go ahead and plug all these up so the color goes into the factor of the first color ramp. The second color ramp, the noise of the color goes into the factor. And the final one, the color of the Voronoi goes into the factor of the color ramp. Now, of course, the color goes into the vector of the noise, and the color goes into the scale of the Voronoi. Whew, a lot of stuff we just did right, right then. All right. Let's take a look at what this looks like by default without doing anything else to it. We're going to go ahead and go to the material tab here. Make sure this is on uh, material mode right there. And you can see now uh, this is what it's going to look like. So it doesn't look exactly how we need it to look right now. It looks kind of weird, but we're going to fix that in just a momentito. Hold on to your pants, ladies and gentlemen. This is about to get crazy. We're going to go ahead and actually change all three of these from linear to B-spline just because it's more easy of a gradient. Um, so if I were to show you uh, while this is loading, okay, come on, there you go. So this is B spline, right? So if I, oh my God, Blender, uh, okay. Well, well, there, thank you, geez. So as you can see, this is B spline and this is linear. You can see a complete difference between these two. This one's much more hard edged, and B spline is a much softer transition. So we're changing all these from linear to B spline. All right, cool. Now we got that set up. The first one is going to be about around, oh, yeah. I love how it just doesn't work sometimes, and I just pull it and it doesn't work. It doesn't go because it's just loading everything. Uh, the first one's going to be about right there. The second one is going to be way up here. And the third one, the third one's going to be approximately in the same position the first one was. Maybe a little bit further, maybe somewhere around 0.4. Yeah, looking good. All right, cool. So we got this now, which looks a little bit better than it did before, but we still have a lot of things to do. So moving on to the next tier of things, which is all three of these bad boys, we go ahead and on the first noise texture, I'm going to change the value of the scale to about 10. Of course, all these numbers can be, you know, fit around with these yourself. These are just the numbers that I came up with. I'm going to put the detail all the way up and the roughness all the way up. So now you can see we have something like this, which looks good, which is a really nice grain texture, just to add a little bit of realism, because, I mean, nothing is completely smooth. Nothing looks like that in real life, unless you're looking through a microscope at some bacteria. We're going to just go ahead and pull that all the way up, and now we got a nice little realistic kind of grain going on, which looks really good. Uh, the second noise texture, this bad boy right here, say hello to Mr. Noise number two. It's his stepbrother. We're going to go ahead and change this value to 20. And the detail, all the way up to the 16, as you can tell. Now, if I were to go ahead and show you what this is doing, uh, turn the roughness up. This is very difficult to see, so let me just play around with this for a little bit. You're probably not going to be able to see it just from based off of the fact that it's not doing too much. It's kind of just 
So what we have here, this second row is changing the metallic. So if I unplug this real quick, just so I have a light, really, really quick breakdown of what's going on here. So if I unplug that, then plug it back in, you'll be able to see that it's, you'll be able to see that it's, oh, oh yeah. Huh. I, I, I'm doing these big materials like this is just kind of crazy. This material is not even that big, but it kind of just is softening everything a little bit. And it's kind of um, pulling some pieces together, especially once we get this Veronoi uh, into the play and this noise texture as well. So I'm gonna put this back on 20. And we're going to go ahead and if I turn the distortion up a little bit as well, there's it's not going to do much like I said so this this middle piece, you can probably actually if we unhook this. You can probably actually get away with doing the material just like this, to be honest with you. But we'll, we'll talk about that afterwards. So what we're going to do, this is the last Verano down here in, in, in the final column. We're going to change this scale to a whopping 100. And now you can see that's what's going to give us that those nice, small little like crystals, I suppose. And you can even go higher with this. I actually did um, 300 and 300 looks really good as well. I really like that. So for the rest of the tutorial, I'm actually going to go ahead and delete uh, this sphere. And I'm actually going to put in a cube. So hit Shift A and just add in a cube. S Z to scale it down, just so we have that nice like floor kind of tile. You know what I mean? So we're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna just add that material back to it. So now we can see exactly what it looks like, um, looking like that, which looks really, really good. I really like the way this looks. But like I said, 300, 1,000 might might be. I mean, you can do this as well. It has a really nice small texture. Like it looks really good. But I just went with 100, so we have those nice big chunks, like, you know, it kind of looks like that, um, those those crystals you see in, like, tiles and whatnot. And I really like that. But like I said, 1,000 also looks quite good as well. I really enjoy that that kind of vibe as well with the really tiny, tiny crystals. Really, really enjoy that. So, um, it's up to you, like I said. So that's pretty much just about it. Like I said, this before this middle column is pretty much just to uh, make all the darks kind of darker. So if I lighter, sorry, not darker. So if I add this all the way down here, if I, if, I, if I add this color ramp all the way down here, Jesus, I cannot speak today, guys. Holy moly. If I have it way down here, you can see that these darks and the reflection is really strong. But if I pull this up, you can see it kind of fades it away to a really nice level instead of it just being completely solid like that so this looks good maybe for like some kind of concrete in a basement or something uh really nice sheen on those little those little crystal tiles whatever you want to call them um really really nice looking concrete but i want it to be shiny so let's go ahead and put all that back so this middle column is literally just to make the uh, the pieces like not as reflective and make it a little bit more matte uh, kind of mixing them together a little bit instead of having just either or. So, I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.